Good morning guys, it's Monday. Welcome to another vlog. I don't know if I'm going to do a whole week in the life this week, but we're going to vlog today and see how I go. I've got a few other videos to film this week. I'm just getting ready to start my Monday and super exciting. My mum has flown back into the country after being away all year. Like I haven't seen her since last year. And so I'm going to go out this morning. She wants me to pick up a few things with her. She's in um, managed quarantine, isolation, whatever you call it. All right, let's get this Monday started. See you guys. This is just the outfit for today. Got oversized hoodie, sneaks, black lines, some sunnies, handbag, super basic outfit. Okay guys, I've just come to St. Luke's. I'm gonna go pick up a few things and head out and drop this stuff off. It's already 20 to 11, so I need to get going because I've got a lot of assignments to get done today. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Guys, it is now raining. It's super grim outside. I've just been to um, get mum the stuff that she wanted and now I'm just headed to the supermarket to pick up some groceries that she wants. Guys, I just whipped together some lunch, my favorite, you know it. And Tyler's here to do some work. Hello. <laughs> what did you have for lunch, Tyler? What are you having for lunch? Vegemite on toast. Tyler's having Vegemite on toast. With fruit juice. <laughs> With fruit juice. Um. What's up, guys? We're just here about to start some study. What's up, guys? What's up? <laughs> What's up, guys? My name is Donald Hey, Trump. guys. I'm Manolin Penelope. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we've got two quizzes and a deconstruction exercise to do. Holy fuck. And we're about to start. Man, so. I'm like an out, man. I'm just so drunk we go on Monday. Yeah. That's a good day. Yeah. One o'clock, but it will leave, right? That's right. What's up guys, we just finished one quiz, we're about to start the other one, Summer already started. She's getting it done, but... Yes! I'm going to the first one right <laughs> She's excited! So care to proceed! Getting work done! Oh my god, question two wasn't even a question! Take the quiz. Grand positive. oh my god, this is the best! Oh nice. This is my man, code. Emily, this is way easier than the other thing. Guys, we just went to the hair salon in the lounge. Got some braids. Summer got some braids. We're all braided up and we're gonna start the next assignment now. <sighs> I've got so many wispies, eh, like these. Okay, let's go. Oh, my hair's got too thin this year. Mm, it's so... Something too. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Chocolate. Two thirds of the waves of the assignment, and then we've had enough. We've been sat here all afternoon. Summer forgets I do that. Um, it's oh, such a nice. Oh I know I've wrapped her up. Did you have to pick her up? Oh no 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 no! She's so cozy. No no no, she'll be cozier on me. Will she though? She loves her new bed. 
happy, but she's here all the time. Oh, come on. Oh, no, she's like, no, oh. no, leave me, leave me, leave me, leave me. Oh, baby. Guys, look at the sunset. So nice. My GoPro's out there, but it never captures it properly. This camera always captures it better. Anyways, I've got dinner tonight with my dinner club. So I'm just gonna pick an outfit I wanna wear. One of my new Juliet Hogan on, outfits. I haven't worn it yet, it's still got the tag on. So excited, so I'm gonna wear these two with some white sneakers. But I don't know if I wanna wear like my platform ones, my flat ones, my Nike ones, or these ones. I might wear these ones because I never wear them. I won't be walking far, I don't think. This is the outfit vibe for now. Or I could just go and be home. <laughs> you could. I'm not going to put like makeup makeup on, but I'm going to put a tiny bit of blush on. Like this. And la balm. <laughs> you silly cute! Look, what's in here? Here. Come look. What's this? Okay. Alright guys, ignore stuff on the bed. I thought I'd just show you my final outfit choice. That took way longer than I wanted it to, but it's like a chill, chill, real casual dinner. But I feel like slip dresses can be really casual, especially with sneakers. So I do feel like this dress is quite casual. I'm not going to wear the tie. Where's the tie? Because um, I think the tie dresses it up quite a lot so I'll just put this away guys can we just appreciate how beautiful the sunset is even though like it's dark essentially there's still like this gr bright red stripe along the bottom it's so pretty I think it's because like the cloud just like stops anyways I haven't really updated you today like what was happening today everything just kind of happened but um essentially to recap today really fast my mum got back into the country today and wanted me to drop some things off to her in managed isolation so I went to the warehouse stationery and the supermarket and got a box and put it all together and dropped her off essentially kind of like and essentially dropped her off a care package then I picked up Summer we came over Tyler was already here she trained in um, we all ate lunch and then we sat down and did we had two quizzes like a lab quiz and a case study quiz to do and then we also had a um, Hora Māori deconstruction exercise which I think we're all still working on I've done the majority but I need to do a bit more and I need to put my I need to reference my research um, so I'll probably do that closer to the time give it a bit of a break now and then tonight I've got dinner with my dinner club which we usually do on the weekends so you guys never see it because I don't vlog my weekends but I'm just meeting up for dinner with a couple of my cousins and um, a couple friends we're just gonna get some Mexican food that's why I was like oh I want to look kind of nice and I want to wear my dress which I just got and it's pretty casual just like a slip dress so I was like I'm gonna wear it tonight yeah so that's where we're at I'm just about to head out to dinner pick up my cousin on the way because she lives down the road which is like super exciting and I don't know if I'll film at dinner but if I do here we go if I don't I'll see you afterwards so bye guys <laughs> I'm fine, thanks. In the middle. Oh, 
be sick. Excellent. Adult recall exam. What's the adult recall exam? I don't know. Is that tiny? What's up guys? How's it going? Um, I've just come from dinner and I've just done a few random little jobs, putting the washing on, putting washing away, folding tea towels, that sort of thing. And I'm about to go do my skincare routine and head to bed. But I'm just giving the dog a little cuddle because I didn't see her all while we were at dinner. When you excited to see her? But for now, I'm going to say good night and I love you guys and I'll talk to you guys all tomorrow. The birds fly south as the light leaves your eyes. Hold on to your dream. Oh, I know you want to scream. Since the day you're born. Good morning guys, it's Tuesday, ignore my horrific flyaways. How's it going? I've got a lot of uni today but I'm going to start the day by going to the gym. I've just changed tops because the other one was like legitimately too short and I've got a load of washing that I did last night which I completely forgot about and need to hang out because it's such a nice day. So I'm just going to hang this out before I leave. What's up guys? I've made it to the gym. The traffic was kind of bad. And people are hardcore judging me for talking to you on my camera, but that's all good. That was a really good gym session. I did a little bit on the spin cycle and then worked on my core and then did lots of stretching. I got up like a bit of a sweat but nothing major and that wasn't the goal of the session. It was just to like get back in the gym and feel comfortable and feel like I'm strengthening my back and not doing further damage. So I am like very frightened I want to say of the gym just because I know that every time I've gone back into the gym I've like kind of like re not re-injured but my back just starts to hurt again so this time I'm going to take it really easy even though like I dream of lifting weights taking it super easy doing the core doing just like a little bit of cardio and stretching is really beneficial What's up guys? I feel so refreshed after a shower after the gym. If you go to the gym and you like showering, you know exactly how I feel. Guys, I'm wearing comfy clothes for now. Sweatpants and an oversized hoodie. I've literally had this hoodie for like five years. It's literally a go-to. I love it so much. I got it off ASOS. I have no idea. They probably do a similar one though because like... It's so nice. I love it. Super plain. So I'm probably just going to have a bagel. You know what goes on it. Avo. Lemon. Tomato. Bacon. And I'm out of spinach. That's alright. What's up guys? I'm looking horrific. But I've just been doing some of my uni assignment. And I also just bought a couple more straps for my Apple Watch. And I also um, bought some 
brow scissors just off of Amazon. I thought I'd just get ready for this little video interview thing I'm doing with another girl on YouTube called Catherine. Um, and I thought I'd just like show you what I'm going to use today. The first thing I like to do is get rid of my flyaways from my face. The next step is to turn the light on, how good, and put some primer on. Because I don't want to wear this makeup all day, I want a really chill light primer, so I'm just going to use MAC strobe cream. I want a kind of really fresh, natural, dewy look. I'm also going to put a tiny bit of the Makeup Forever Nourishing primer on as well just because this is super hydrating as well so I usually just let this get tacky for like a minute or so I think I'm going to use the MAC light full C tinted cream even though I'm going for a natural look today I think I just want a tiny bit more coverage in my problem areas it's pretty much my t-zone at the moment so you can see that this really doesn't cover up much on my skin at all like you can still see a bit of my redness you can definitely see all my spots so that's the base nothing special I'm going to use the RMS Beauty and um, cover up concealer so that's pretty much my base done. Guys, I don't recommend um, tweezing while you are doing your makeup because it makes it really red. Oh my god, bad decision, I'm literally crying. <laughs> Honestly, having microbladed brows makes this process so much easier. Make sure that colour's brushed through. So that's my brows, that's my base, I'm just going to do some bronzer and at the moment my favourite is Westman Atelier, blusher Westman Atelier, highlighter Westman Atelier, I'm not even kidding these are incredible products, the colour range is crap and to be honest the bronzer doesn't completely work for me but I do like it, so I do keep using it. I'm going to use this Hakuhodo Sephora brush um, to blend it in. But I'm going to run this from the top of my ear diagonally down to the outside of the corner of my eye. Just like that. I like to run up the side of my face because I have quite like a wide face. If I run up the sides it just narrows it down a bit and around the top it's actually just like a C I'm gonna go in and blend it out this is in the color shushet kuchet I don't know how you spell it shushet or how you say it sorry shushet kuchet I'm really into blusher. I feel like it makes people look really healthy. I am going to do eyeshadow. So <clears throat> I'm just going to use the paint pot. I probably wouldn't do this usually today, but because I've just um, plucked to high heaven and made it all red, I kind of need to cover that up. So I'm literally just tapping it on with like my fourth finger. I'm going to use my NARS Afterglow palette and put on a, a crease colour. I'm going to use this shade here. Shadow Hill. Just like that. A light wash of colour in the crease. Oh yeah, that's quite nice and just neutral. I might just put some shine on but not a lot then I'm gonna get this highlight shade this is 
whipped, no it's not, it's first taste. Sorry, it's like back to front. First taste and go into my brow bone there. And on the other side. And then I'm gonna go in here. And on the other side. And I'm gonna blend that. I'm just gonna take a little bit of the brown color with the brush like this under my eye. Rose God Retro from Stila, a classic. I'm just gonna do a tiny bit on the center of my eye. I'm going to use the Dior Iconic Overcurl, it's really a bit dried out, so probably not doing it justice, but it's my favourite, it's yeah, definitely very dry. If you know me well, you know that mascara would be the one makeup item I would take to a deserted island. And then I'm just going to do my highlight lit from within this is a very you won't like this if you don't like that really dewy look i do it on my fingers and then i pat it on it's that really like wet sweaty highlight look which i really <laughs> am liking at the moment with the dewy vibes I'm just going to use this MAC lipstick in the colour Faux, it's a satin. I'm actually just going to do a light layer. And that's that, I just have to do my hair and then I'm done. Alright guys, I'm just taking out the braids that Tyler put in yesterday. Um, you don't want to like brush through them because they will get like really frizzy. But I'm just going to run my fingers through them. I think this is the look I'm going to go for. And hopefully my hair kind of... Um, relaxes over the next couple of hours so it's not like such a frizz bomb. What's up? How's it going guys? It's 10 to 2. I've got a Zoom meeting with this girl, Catherine, at 2. So I'm just going to get the zoom link up i'm just waiting for the host to start this meeting that's Catherine. that's the girl who's doing the meeting what's up how's it going guys i just had that short meeting with Catherine. she had some cool questions to ask i'll link the video below if you want to go and watch it she seemed really nice we just had a little chat about like youtube why we do it how's uni she didn't really want to talk longer than half an hour, which I totally get. I just talk so much. So she was like, I kind of have to go. And I was like, uh -huh, sorry. There was a package delivered while I was doing that. So I'm going to go down and check it out. I don't know if it's for me or for Summer, but I know that Summer's had a few things delivered here because she doesn't have a letterbox. So probably for Summer because I don't can't think of anything that I'm waiting for apart from stuff from like May which I'm pretty sure is like not coming now Summer Morrison that's definitely her ruby top and this looks like my pencil subscription 
from Blackwing and that's Summer's crop top. Ooh! The Blackwing 19 is our tribute to the 19th Amendment and the ongoing fight for voting rights in the United States and around the world. Guys, can we talk about how nice today is for a second? Like, not a cloud in the sky. I ca actually can't even see one. Like, there actually isn't a cloud. It's literally such a nice day. I just rang summer and I was like, there's not even one cloud. We need to get outside. And she was like, I was just thinking that. So I'm just gonna chuck some other pants on because like no one wants to go to the beach in track pants. And we're gonna go to the beach, take the dog and just get outside. And I'm super excited because it's so nice and it hasn't been this nice in so long. I will continue doing my lectures when I get home. I promise I'm not ignoring them or procrastinating i will just do them a bit longer later so heading to the beach with the summer she looks like a vibe she does look like a vibe so do i to be honest we're vibes i was gonna wear shorts and i was like oh it might be deceiving like, uh, hold, I, I know really i did i did put shorts on so we'll see how they yeah, go what do you want to go, go do because i can't be okay well what beach that you do. what beach do you want to go to i don't know different one than yeah. the og so we could either do a different one in her bay or we could um, do point shift. Turns out the vibes are. We don't know what the tides are. Should I Google the tides? going out top guys it's so so cute like what bra do they expect you to wear with this what's up guys how's it going um, I just spent the afternoon, Summer was here for a little bit, and organizing a insurance claim um, for con contents, but now I'm just making a shopping list because I haven't been to the supermarket this week. I need to go because there's like nothing to eat now in the fridge, which is not ideal. <laughs> interested in what I'm eating this week I'm gonna have Thai chicken sari skewers nachos and broccoli pasta like a vegetarian dish I was just thinking prawn tacos but I don't want to plan for four meals because I don't know what's happening this weekend yet and I can always go back to the supermarket to get more and fresh I also am well aware that I got ice cream on my sweater it is what it is I'm just picking which tote bags I want to bring. Oh my 
goodness, guys, that doesn't look like much, but it's so heavy, so much stuff. Oh my god, I'm like puffing, walking home with it. Oh my goodness, guys, that was like such a heavy shop to carry back by myself. <sighs> but I wanted to say that the supermarket guy who checked me out today was so lovely, like genuinely inquisitive about my life and obviously the lady who was like after me in the queue was also like listening to our conversation and he was like what are you doing and I was like oh, I'm at uni what are you studying you know we had that old blah 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 conversation and um she's like oh my god I'm like a high school counselor and the students are at that point in their life right now where they're like deciding what to do and they're getting all stressed and la 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 and she's like how did you find it going from school? I was like, oh my god, I actually dropped out of high school. Like, I have a really unconventional story into medicine. And she's like, she's like, oh my goodness, that's incredible. Like, that gives me hope for my kids, la 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 la. And like, it was so nice. These people were genuinely so nice and so kind. And um, I left the supermarket, like, feeling like, it was just super nice. I don't even know. Like, I just feel super positive now. Like, wow, these people really cared about me, a little stranger, and wanted to chat. And yeah, it was just, I feel really like humbled by it that people just were so kind to me. I don't know about you guys, but I love a good grocery haul. So here's mine. This is two people for a week, plus some extras. There's always some extras. So I've got, work this way, frozen berries, frozen spinach. I really wanted to try the LMP pineapple lumps and normal pineapple lumps. These are like my treats. Peanut butter, this like coconut milk, but like pourable coconut milk. Coconut sugar, corn chips, corn chips, chili beans, Mexican tomatoes, milk, ice cream, miso paste, um, red curry paste, jasmine rice, la croix, um, chicken thigh, mints, and large pasta shells, seaweed snacks, coconut milk. So the reason that I've got small coconut milks and big ones, the big ones are for cooking, the small ones are for smoothies, these, um, that way we don't waste any, like we just pour that whole thing into the smoothie and then it doesn't like sit in the fridge and go off, which is what happens if we use like part of this and then we never use the rest because we don't have smoothies that super often. So that's why I've got some small ones and some big ones. Then we've got curry powder and basil, natural seasoning, peanuts, mandarins for snacks, carrots, avocado, lemon, broccoli. This is mostly for my broccoli pasta because I'm going to cook it right down and like make it into a sauce. Bacon. I don't know if I did that, sour cream and yogurt, but if I didn't, there's sour cream and yogurt. And that is my quick overhaul of the groceries for the week for two people. Guys, I know you've probably seen this hack before, but when meat's on special, like these minces were three for 20 and we only used one per nachos. Um, I like to just still buy them because otherwise I'm paying, I think it's like $12 or $9 a pop for each of these minces. It's super expensive. so. 3 for 20 is a really good deal. I vacuum seal it and freeze it so then I can just defrost it when I want mince next time and I don't have to worry about it. Guys, I thought I'd show you quickly what I'm making for dinner. So I'm doing Thai chicken satay with peanut sauce and restaurant style coconut rice. I haven't made either of these before. It just looks like a lot. This is the mixture for the peanut sauce. I just need to add some cider vinegar and some salt. All right, guys, I've got the Thai chicken marinated skewers cooking my coconut rice cooking and my satay sauce cooking and then because I'm lazy and I'm already using like so many pots I've got my broccoli florets in here some water to heat up and boil in the microwave real quick guys this is the final product coconut rice chicken thigh broccoli satay sauce so good what's up guys 
That was literally the most incredible chicken sarre I think I've had in my life. Um, I'm just going to get some more work done. It's 9 o'clock. I'll probably do some uni stuff for like an hour. What's up guys? How's it going? It's quarter past ten. I've actually done some uni stuff. I'm exporting a video that I just finished editing as well. And overall, had a good evening. My dinner was like top notch. Hope you guys are having a great week or weekend whenever you're watching this. I love you all and I'll see you tomorrow for another beautiful day. Bye. Ciao. Riding into the night Cause you're working so hard But this is a cue Just for tonight I'll take care of you Leave this gravity behind Good morning guys, how's it going? It's Wednesday morning Let's get the day going all right guys, I'm just going to cut up this grapefruit for breakfast. This is like a homegrown one from my friend. Um, I'm not that hungry, but I want to eat now so I don't have to eat once I've done a full face of makeup. So I'm just going to cut this up. I'm going to do a full face today. Tyler's here, we're gonna go get some brunch and then we're gonna film some videos today. It's quarter past 11. What's up guys, we're just walking to Pottsby Central to get a crepe. Tyler's looking fly in her all black outfit. Super cute. I'm just comfy casual. I might get like, I wonder how much these are. And if I want to dry them, how do I dry it? Like just hang it upside down or? Proteas are fine to just dry, dry. themselves, okay. but they will stay fresh in a little bit of water for like three to four weeks. Just oh, yeah. because, I mean, that's why they're so expensive. Will they open more? Yeah, so these ones will, like you can see that they would have been all closed up and these, yeah. ones, these little bits are going to pop out. So we've still got a little bit to go. Do you want me to pop some water on the bottom? Um, or is there some paper around them? Just some paper, because I'll just I think I'm just gonna dry them straight away. Guys, I just picked up a few proteas to dry. <gasps> They're so pretty. I'm gonna put them in a little vase and dry them at home. Guys, this is gonna be the location of those flowers for now. What's up guys? It's like 2.33ish. Tyler and I just finished filming the like second year med school everything you need to know video. 
which if it's not up before this video I assume it will be up um if it's not up it's coming if it's up I'll link it below if you are someone who is interested in going to med school or you got into medical school and you want to know more about it that's a great video to watch oh, it's kind of tiring like I understand why people do YouTube as like their full-time job because making prepared videos like this like not just vlogging is a lot of preparation and effort especially when you're like doing it with someone else like doing it with Tyler like we have to organize when she can come in and finding her a car park and discussing what we're going to talk about who's going to say what that sort of stuff doing our makeup so we look nice um because these are the videos that actually get lots of views on my channel like the vlogs don't actually get that many views it's pretty much just like my friends watching my vlogs I think I don't even know actually like I just but it's good fun I'm really enjoying it it's definitely been a great hobby during lockdown so thanks for watching if you're here just want some cuddles just want some cuddles just want some cuddles <laughs> What's up guys? How's it going? I'm just here with the doggo. We're hanging out. <laughs> Look at that smile on your face. <laughs> What's up guys? How's it going? Um, I've had enough of wearing this makeup today. I could wear it longer but there really is no point. I am going to take out my bobby pins as well because my ponytail keeps getting stuck and I'm getting a bit of a headache because this is a new hair tie and it's so tight all right guys I just thought I'd show you this is the difference obviously this side's quite red because I did just like rub it with makeup wipes but I wanted to show you the difference that makeup can make to your face so this is no makeup all I have is like my brows are microbladed so they probably wouldn't look that good normally like without the microblading but makeup no makeup makeup it's powerful right guys like it makes such a difference to your appearance guys I'm just gonna use the Glam Glow Super Mud. This is my favorite mask for when I've got like spots and things like that. What's up, guys? Wow, I look really bald like oh my goodness I actually look bald <laughs> let's change that I don't want to look bald um I just thought I'd show you my curls this is what they come out like when you do your curls like in a ponytail and then let them down it's one of my favorite easy way to do curls which I'm planning on doing next year for clinical but like I'm going to um probably wear it in a low pony which is cute but I just did my whole face routine like took my time like warmed up my moisturizer so it like really went into my skin it feels incredible with that face mask I know it looks horrific right now but honestly it feels so good um I'm just gonna start making dinner Oh, I'm gonna start making dinner and I also have to put away this laundry outside. I've got this like rack of dry clothes out here which needs putting away. Good girl. Nachos. Do you want some nachos with your sour cream? And I've got a long day tomorrow doing catch up with uni, so that's what I'm doing. Um thanks for tuning in so far. And I'll see you tomorrow for another beautiful day. See you guys.